right, so as you can see here, I've I've designed a cover. I'm going to use this for um, it's it's for pump, so hence the name pump cover. What I'd like to do though is before I start doing drawings, I kind of want to see what this is going to cost um, to manufacture. So I'm going to go to the evaluate tab here, and notice that there's there's actually quite a bit of tools in here. But one of the things I can launch is I can launch costing. So we can see that there's costing here. So I'm going to I'm going to click costing to launch it. And what it does is it invokes a panel here. So you can see the panel is loading. So it'll just take a second. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the little button here in, in the upper corner. So I'm going to click that. And what it's going to do is launch the costing options. So you can see that I can come in here and I can set that, you know, we're going to machine this. Actually, what I'd like to see is what's going to cost if I cast this. So general body is casting. I don't have any sheet metal or any structural members, so I can actually just ignore these for right now. I can see which template, so you can see the machining template, well, which one do I want, right? If, I, if I'm doing sheet metal, which one do I want? If I'm doing multi-body, what do I want? In this case, just the default ones, ones that come out of the box. So you can see that I've got um, default English and I've got metric. I can continue on here and I can see the materials. I can see the stock type, so in this case it's, it's a block, it's a, it's a bounding box and I can see the quantity. So I'm just gonna click OK just to accept that because the other thing I can do is I can actually do the same thing through the methods here. So, sorry, through the through the panel here. So I'm gonna flip this over to casting. So notice that the bounding box is gone. Um, so since I picked casting, what am I going to make this out of? So maybe what we wanna do is we wanna make this out of a, you know, aluminum alloy and what I, what I see here is, is the material cost on that, which is set at 90 cents per pound. And then I can see some of the molding information. So cycle time, you know, what's the mold cost, how much of it is waste, and then the same quantity information. Now, when I'm ready to calculate that, notice the big green box, you can't really miss it. I'm gonna say begin calculation, and we can see it's come back and it's calculated this at $514. Now right now it's red because it's never been run before, so it's 100% more than zero, so it's set that. But what I could do is actually set that as the baseline and it's going to be um, compared to um, against that. Well, let's change the method here from casting. Let's change this to, to machining. And notice how it's updating the results. So we can see now to machine this right now, it's saying it's going to cost um, $74 to, to machine this. Now, I don't have any mold costs or anything like that, so hence why the, why the why the cost is lower. I mean, if I was gonna do a thousand of these, then maybe you know having it cast might make more sense. So we can see that the same material, what's gonna happen if I change to steel? So let's say I've decided to manufacture this out of steel instead. Um, let's say that we're gonna manufacture this out of plain carbon steel, and we can see the information has changed. So this is kind of where I wanna set my baseline. Actually, you know what, before I do that, let's take a look at the the stock size here, and I can actually come in here and I can actually start tweaking the size of this. So maybe what I'd like to do is I'd like to make sure that there's a you know, a little bit extra information or a little bit extra material around there. So as I can take that, I can just tweak that and I can start changing um, the offset here so we got a little bit more information. I can also go back into the panel here and I can come right in here to my stock size and say um, what I'd like to do is I'd like to override this because I'd really like this to be five um, we're going to make this four inches and we're going to make this actually be seven inches and we can see that the box is updated. So we'll click update and we can see the cost information has changed. So I'm going to lock that in as my baseline. So it just did a cap couple, it's flashing around there because it's actually generating some views from that as well um, for if I was going to calculate any reports. Now remember how I said that this is actually you know real time updating. So if I was to come in here and in real time I'm going to say well you know what we've changed our mind what I really wanted to make this out of was out of aluminum and notice how real time now we can see that that's increased the cost by five percent. Well what if I come back into my my features here and what if I take out um, what happens if I take out these fillets. So I'm just going to do a right click I'm going to delete those so yes, we're going to delete those. We can see it's updated. And when I take a look at my costing, 
we can see that real time it's updated and we can see that the cost has has changed now remember it's four percent compared to my baseline so it's actually gone down so the cost of manufacturers has actually gone down by one percent so you can see how i can i can change these and i can massage this and in real time get costing information on this now down here at the bottom is the button to actually generate the report so if you wanted to to see what that report is going to look like there's the little report button notice the location title and then some other information you click publish and you get your reports so once you have your templates defined in in where that information the cost information has come from it's almost like the costing comes for free because you need to model the part um, and then you apply your your template to it and it's real time getting that information so there's really no complexity in getting this set up um, and like I said the costing comes along with it so there you have it that's the SolarWorks costing module